another video. So in this video, we are going to be doing a Chewy unboxing. And this is a bigger one than I've really ever done, I think. Uh, and I think it'll be the most interesting one. Now, I ordered a lot of stuff, spent a lot of money, at least for me. Now, obviously, I'm not one of those rich people who can like go spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But I definitely spent more than I usually would. And I felt really cool. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get probably a lot of big boxes or at least two big boxes and maybe a small one. I got three, three small boxes and a big one. I promise it's a lot of stuff, but a lot of it is little stuff. So anyway, I'm going to try to go through this stuff pretty fast because I tend to draw things out. So we are going to just get right into it from here. So in this one we have the Dinosaur Plush Dog Toy Medium from Frisco and I like this. It's got, it's pretty soft surprisingly. It's got stuffing in it, it has a big squeaker in the body and it has these little like bumps It's kind of textured along it and it's really cute. It's like a dark blue, red, orange kind of mixture. So I'm excited about that. So is Ziva. Now I'm gonna hope she doesn't destroy these things while we're recording because I have to get little like pictures of them for wherever I have it up on the screen. So if some of them end up being a little off in the pictures, it's because somebody gets excited about them. <laughs> and let's get on to the next one. Now this one's kind of a little cheaty. If you saw my video on Dexter's birthday chewy unboxing, actually I don't know which one of these is going to go out first, but if you saw that video or you know if you are eventually going to see it, this is something that is repeated because I had ordered this and it came broken. One of the toys accidentally got broken on the way here and so we donated that thanks to Chewy and now we got this one. So I figured I would include it in this. And this one, the toys are both intact. It has this little fluffy ball toy. And then it has this purple and white plastic toy with the bell. And it is just this three-way little tunnel thing for cats. And it's pretty cute. This is from Frisco. It is called the Pop-Up Tri-Tunnel Cat Shoot. Let's get on to the next one. Here we have the corduroy plush squeaking lion dog toy. She likes these little corduroy ones from Frisco. It's just this cute little lion. It's brown and it has little blue touches to it. It has a little squeaker in the body and it has stuffing in it. It's pretty soft and she loves these ones. She kind of eats them pretty quickly because they're a little more flimsy and thin than other ones. But as you can tell, she gets excited about them. And I've never gotten this one before, but I have a feeling she's going to like it based on her reaction so far. <laughs> and then next, this is for Remy's birthday party. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video on Remy's birthday party unboxing, or like not unboxing, but like haul kind of the stuff for it but there's these little um, like alcohol bottles but dog toys because the theme, well actually I don't know anymore, I might have to switch it up, but the theme was gonna be a casino like murder mystery party, but I might have to switch that for a different time just because dogs can't wear costumes in the summer, it'll be hot, da 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 da, whatever. Beatrix is playing with the toy in the tunnel through the box. Stop it. But anyway, for whenever I get to have that party, I got Muscato, and it's just this cute little bottle. It says love on the top, it has a paw print, it's this soft pink with these gold touches to it. And I think that'll be a cute little touch to go with the other ones. So I actually don't want Ziva to play with that one. Ziva, 
She's already destroying the thing. Sina, look at this one. Look it. Look it. Okay. Anyway, this is something I have wanted to get since we got Ziba. This has been like two years in the making. It is this adorable little ducky raincoat. Now I'm already gonna say this is thinner than I thought it would be, but it probably, I mean, it seems like it will still work, but it is just this adorable little blue raincoat with little duckies on it. And it has the little leash hole, but the flap goes over it, which I think is pretty smart. And it hooks in front of the chest and underneath at the stomach. And it's so cute. It is the Frisco, it just says Frisco Pet Apparel and I got the extra, extra large. This is so cute, I love it. I'm excited to finally have it. Excuse me. Hey. And now, to the final box. Okay, so I got, this is a Buster Beaver from um, Fringe Studio Pet Shop, it looks like. It is just this little beaver toy and it has a squeaker on the inside and it's a spiky ball squeaker. It's just this cute little dude. I thought it was different, you know, from the stuff you usually see. And so I decided to get it. She's gonna chew these off right away, doing basically what she's doing to the lion. I believe you're being a little loud. You're gonna have tape stuck to you. But I thought that this was super cute and wanted to get it for her. And then next, we got one of the Kong Cozies. This is a little purple rhino. It is so soft. It has a squeaker in the body and it has stuffing in it. And it's just super cute, super soft. And she could always use toys like this. Now, Ziva, you're gonna have to wait for this one because I have to cut the zip tie. And along that same line, we have another one. Is that all on you? Tape stuck to your foot. Okay. And along that same line, we have another one of the Kong Cozies. This one is a little cow, I believe. Oh no, it's a sheep. What? This is a sheep? I guess I don't know sheep that well. <laughs> I would have guessed this is like a weird cow. Anyway, though, it's cute. It's soft. It's the same setup. It has <laughs> stuffing and a squeaker in the body. And yeah. See, was already chewing parts off the beaver. <laughs> this is why I got a lot of toys. Next, we have the Kong Dinos. It is just this cute little triceratops. It's pink. There's no stuffing in this, except for it feels like there might be a little in the head. And then there's a big ball squeaker <laughs> in the body. This one also has a zip tie, so you're gonna have to wait a second. Sorry, squirrel but this is just super cute. And she usually likes the toys like this too. So she really likes all toys, especially plush toys, but yeah. Next to switch it up a little bit, Eddie got broke into my dog treat bar, broke a lot of the jars and ate so many treats, lots of money worth of treats. But so I wanted to get more and I got some of the Blue Buffalo Health Bars baked with bacon, egg, and cheese. And they're just these little dog treats that I figured I'd try. The first few, or the first line of ingredients is oatmeal, oat flour, barley, rye, chicken meal. And then it goes on to other ones, but that's just the first line. These are pretty big, which is nice. Remy can have that one. Ziva. Eddie. Oh, you 
guys are getting it all over me. Ziva, she's the, they must crumble easy because they are throwing this stuff all over and it never, they're never like this. Eddie dropped it all in the box. Now I'm full of slobber and dog treats. That was not part of the plan. But anyway, we are just going to continue on. Next we have the Frisco Textured Plush Squeaking Hippo Dog Toy. Now Ziva loves these. If you saw her birthday unboxing, then you saw they added a pig and a unicorn and I didn't notice they added a hippo too. So I wanted to get this. It has stuffing and a squeaker in the head and then it has no stuffing in the body and it has a big ball squeaker. She loves these so much, this whole line of them. We've gotten every single one of them that I've seen. We've repeated some of them and she just loves them so much. So. I was excited to see a new one. And next, another thing I wanted to try to switch it up with, this is the Hyper Pet Bumpy Pals dog toy with squeaker. The body, it's like a little like chicken dude. <laughs> the body of it, is it a turkey? Is it a chicken? I don't know. Little gobbler, so I'm assuming it's a turkey. I'm great with animals. I know what's going on. Excuse me, Ziva, this one has a zip tie too, so that's not gonna work. Here. <laughs> Let me take this off. Ziva, go get it. Go get it. Good girl. And then it has some stuffing and a little squeaker in the head. And the body is just the ball, like the squeaker. It is nothing else. There's no room. You can see the bumps through it. And I thought this was pretty cute. I wanted to switch it up. I've never gotten one of these before. Eddie, you're being a little loud. <laughs> and that also has a zip tie, so you gotta wait for that. Now this, I'm excited to try. This is also a different thing. This is from Pest for Life. It is the interactive toy and accessory. Oh, it says interactive toys and accessories that help keep your pet fit for life. Now our trainer had this toy where it was a stick and it had this little like squeaker, like squirrel toy at the end and you'd like move it around and the dogs would lose their minds over it. So I saw this and I was like, I gotta try it. Now obviously this won't be as heavy duty as his, but I still thought it would be cute to try and see how they react. And I'll have to get a video of trying this. It's got this little like bird head at the bottom and it's got this rope and then you take these parts and screw them together and then you have this little toy. It's like a cat toy but for dogs or it can be for both. The whole family can play together except for that seems like something that would cause Beatrix to try to kill them all. And then the last group of toys in here, Ziva's going to be so excited about to the point where I'm not going to be able to give it to her until I get pictures of them because she will probably destroy them pretty quickly. But recently I started testing out tiny toys with her again or smaller toys because she loves them so much. And um, she's been doing pretty good with them. And so I wanted to try these ones. They're cute. They're a little bigger. So if she's having those ones last longer, these will probably last too. It is some of the hide and seek toys. It is the Frisco hide and seek plush trash can and raccoon puzzle dog toy. 
It's this like shiny little like metallic kind of trash can. And then you take the little raccoons, which are so cute. They have these little tails that are adorable. And obviously they don't stay bunched together. You put them in their little hidey holes. And then the dog can take them out to play with them. Ziva's was very excited, but I don't want her to destroy them. I'm sorry, Ziva. But they're just super, super cute. All right, back up, Ziva. We've got one more thing. And now the last thing I'm very excited about this one. This is for me, not for you. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I was asking for it for Christmas and stuff, and it's a little more on the expensive side. It's like $30, $40. And so it's just something that I always had to put on the side and wait to get, but I finally decided to do it. Now, if you don't know, Ziva is in training to become a service dog, and eventually, once she's out, this will be super, super helpful. It's from Mobile Dog Gear. It is a week away bagged dog luggage, and it's all organized, sorted. This is for the medium large dogs. It says it holds two 15 cup food carriers and holds, it has two 15 cup food carriers so it holds 30 cups of food, enough for a week away. Now this I necess won't necessarily be using as like a, you know, week away travel kind of thing. This will be like a in the car travel thing and also like week away sort of thing. It basically is just going to be our little travel bag. I'll probably keep it in the car most of the time. And then if we do take her somewhere for a long period of time, it will be really nice to have it. I'm so excited about this. Because it's not that big, but it holds a lot. So on the back here, it has this little like mesh pocket. You can put whatever you want in. And then it has a, another little layer. I don't know what this one's for. Oh, you know what that's for? That's for hooking it on top of a suitcase if you're traveling or like going to an airport. That's what that's for. Okay, got it. And it has these little hooks on the side for if you want to add a different strap. On the sides, it has more of those mesh pockets for whatever you want to put in there. On the front, it has the smaller pocket that unzips. It has the logo that says mobile dog gear on it. And then in here, it has the fold up, like, I don't know if this is food containers, if this is dog bowls. I think it might be dog bowls. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so this is super cute. It comes with a little, like, mat for spilling, and then it has two of these bowls, one for food, one for water, so you can set up whatever you need for them, and then just fold it back up, pack it up, and put it back in the bag. And the pattern of that little, like, spill thing, I don't know what it's called, the, like, mat, that it looks like that is what the interior of the bag is decorated with. So then you can close that back up. And the straps hook together with that little piece. It has a little luggage tag in the shape of a bone, which is cute. And the top is this big zipper that comes undone. Inside of the little like lid or whatever you want to call it, there's another one of those mesh pockets for whatever you want to put in there. And on the inside, there's this little divider in the middle. And this, I'm assuming, is the food pack or the food bag. And there is two of those, one in each side. And then at the bottom of this one is the other strap for if you want to hook them. And it looks like, yeah, the divider velcros out, so you can really use this for whatever you want. You can keep it like this, fill these up, put it in there. You can put different things in these bags. You could completely take the divider out. You can really do whatever you want. And I was very excited. I saw different versions of this, but I always saw this one and thought it looked like the best one. 
excited so I'm just I'm very excited this will be very nice for traveling I can put like a little first kit, first aid kit in it I can have food in it for if we ever need it like emergency kind of things or I can carry water bottles in it for her eventually I want to have something to like wash her paws with. I mean there's so many things that would be helpful for when we're out even like her raincoat I can have it stored in here that way if it starts raining I can throw a raincoat on her before we go in somewhere so I'm very 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 excited about that and that is what we are ending this off on so thank you for joining me thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed bye